Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another week of the Elite Battle League Season 5. This is week 4. I am the coach of the Iron Center War, and today we are taking on our friend It's Really Timmy B and his DC Starmies. If you guys are watching at this point in the season, you know I've already been knocked out of the playoffs. Um, I'm fairly certain about that. Nobody confirmed that for me, so I, I, I'm just assuming at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a safe assumption. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're still gonna see if we can get a win this season, see where that goes. But, um, Timmy's got Mewtwo, Marshadow, Volcarona, Milotic, Mamoswine, Haxorus, Venusaur, B Bisharp, and Alolan Raichu. Now, our biggest concerns is that Mewtwo and a little bit the Mamoswine. Um, I'm more worried about the Mewtwo because he swapped Max with it, but, um, if you can find a way for us to stop Mewtwo and, um, take care of the rest of his team, then we're good, but, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, for what I think he's going to bring, I think Mewtwo and Marshadow are very likely. Um, Mammoth Swine, of course, because he's probably going to be worried about my Salamence, which I am bringing, so very, very understandable. Alolan Raichu, his Alolan Raichu, I think he's going to bring his uh, Haxorus and Bishop are also very likely, so that's the six I'm going to go with. Wouldn't be surprised if he brings Volcarona or Milotic. For some reason, I don't see him bringing Venusaur at all, so that's, that's my biggest guess, but... Um, we are bringing Incineroar for the first time and Salamence for the first time, as well as Zacian and Alolan Raichu. So uh, we'll see how well that goes. I'll see you guys when we're in battle. All right, well, he did bring the Venusaur. I only got three right. U2, Marshadow, and, oh, actually four. U2, Marshadow, Mammoth, Swine, and Alolan Raichu, okay. Obviously, he'd probably bring the Venusaur for Zacian. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking that he'd bring Bisharp to stop Zacian, even though yeah, it was probably more likely he was going to bring Venusaur, but uh, we're going to lead with Croissant and go from the rest there. Um, Brian gave me the strat that we're supposed to be using here, um, so hopefully it works out to some capacity, but overall we'll have to see how it goes, because if he's starting with the Mammo Swine, then I'm going to have to switch out immediately. Shmoopy. That is his Volcarona. All right. All right, all right, all right. We start off with the D-Dance. If he switches out, that'd be sick. Unless it's to Mammoth Swine. <laughs> then it wouldn't be sick. Let's see what he's thinking here. I can see him quiver dancing. Oh yay, the fun part where OBS likes to lag. Fun. F is for friends. Yo, Timmy's really thinking here. <laughs> he's like, hmm. Okay, yeah, he's withdrawing. I'm guessing that's... Oh! It is not. G Gassoon height is not. Man, that's fine. All right. Well, this thing's probably going to outspeed us. I'm going to go for an EQ. Oh, we outspeed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Goodbye, Raichu. <laughs> All right. Does he bring in Mamoswine? Does he bring in Mamoswine? That's the real question. Yeah, I'm guessing. Mama Jama, yeah. Um. You know what? I don't think he can. I don't think he can one shot. Oh, Ice Shark. Forgot about that. I was wrong. You know what? Not surprised I biffed that there. Um. It's fine. I think. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for Flying Nimbus. I'm gonna go for Flying Nimbus here. Um. I don't think I want a Dynamax, but it is 100%. I die here if he uses Earthquake and I don't kill, so 
I'm just gonna focus blast. Thank you for hitting that. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Salamence was mostly brought to stop his Mewtwo and such, but we'll see how I do since I messed that up. I, I was considering switching out, but I didn't know what to. Okay, here's Marshadow. See, I really don't... I really don't want a Dynamax unless his Mewtwo's not Dynamaxed or able to. I think my best shot is to switch to Incinera- I don't know. He's probably going for a Ghost-type move. But if he predicts and uses a Fighting-type move, that's where I'm in trouble. I was going to switch into Incineroar. And Parting Shot. That lowers its attack, so that's good. Okay, Shadow Sneak. That's not going to do very much. I'm going to protect to see what he goes for. Drain Punch. Okay. Had a feeling. Um, you know, Incineroar is pretty good against the rest of his team, but I don't think I want to Dynamax yet. I'm going to Parting Shot. Spectral Thief. That's a ghost type move. Okay. I thought so. All right. So there goes his attack and special attack. I'm going to switch out to Zacian. Good clean switch to Zacian. I don't know if he has anything prepared for... Zacian on Marshadow here. I think what I want to go for is Psychic Fangs, because if he switches out to Venusaur, we're good. If he doesn't, which he didn't, we are also good. All right, there goes half his team. Ooh, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> Shmoopy is his Volcarona. Okay, okay. He's probably got Sludge Bomb or something for this. I'm gonna switch out to Raichu in case that is the, the, the deal here. Okay, he's quiver dancing. He's quiver dancing. Which is Oh, it's faster, okay. Um I'm gonna Psy Shock. Oh, Oh, I had a feeling he was going to Dynamax. Sure. <laughs> okay, well, at least we know his Mewtwo can't Dynamax anymore. That was the, the main important thing. I I don't know if he put a Fighting-type move on this or not. I don't know if he can even learn a Fighting-type move. He's definitely going to kill my Raichu here. That's without a doubt. Yeah, okay. That sets up fire, though. I think I think I'm gonna do what any smart person would do here, in Dynamax and Cinnaroar. Most likely not gonna be faster, but if I can take a hit, hopefully I can do enough damage to it. I mean, I just lowered its attack, but it's a special attacker. I'm pretty sure. Max Flare isn't the strongest move. I think I'm going to start by wasting a turn of his Dynamax by Max Guarding. Because then he's just got one turn left and I can see what he's trying to go for here. Point blank, if my Incineroar goes down to one move from him, neither of us have Dynamax Pokemon anymore. The main issue with that is that his Venusaur is still alive, but my Zacian can definitely outspeed it. Now his Mewtwo 
anything his Mewtwo has is scary. To be honest. Okay, he was going for Max Flare. It's always good to waste a turn, though. I'm also going to go for Max Flare. His Mewtwo most likely has Aura Sphere. Okay, he is going for Max Guard. No surprises here. <laughs> okay, but he's not Dynamaxed anymore. Now he has three options. Stay with Volcarone and use a move. Switch out to Mewtwo. Or switch out to Venusaur. All three of them are going to get hit by Max Darkness pretty hard. Okay. Here comes another Quiver Dance. His, uh... His Volcaron is becoming a little bit too strong <laughs> for my taste. So good thing we knocked it out. <laughs> All right, two more Mons, two more Mons. Oh, oh, his Mewtwo's name is Marshadow. Gotcha. Yeah, this thing's definitely got Aura Sphere. This thing's definitely got Aura Sphere, some kind of fighting type move. But I'm gonna use Darkest Lariat. Yep, called it. So goodbye Incineroar. Unless it doesn't knock me out, which I totally thought it was going to. Yo? Okay, that didn't knock it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I mean, there's no point in protecting, but I'm going to protect just because I want Incineroar's beautiful face to be shown for a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, there's there was no point in using that, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so here comes the finishing Aura Sphere. Okay, the only dangerous thing here is if he has... I don't think he outspeeds, though. That's the thing. I don't think he outspeeds. If he outspeeds, I'll be surprised. I don't think anything can. Zacian should be able to outspeed, but I'm never fully certain on these things, so... If it outspeeds, we win. I mean, if we outspeed, we win. If he outspeeds, we'll have to see. Well, I'm gonna use Play Rough. Hopefully it doesn't miss! Thank you! Goodbye, Mewtwo! That means he only has Venusaur left, it can't Dynamax. We are faster, Psychic Fang should finish it off. Fingers crossed. There is always a chance. Oh, he said, he just messaged me GG's, I think we won, guys. Zacian, take me home. Country roads, you survived, I hate you. Please don't finish me. You didn't finish me. Shout out to Venusaur for real. Best Kanto starter, without a doubt. But guys, it took us long enough, but we finally have our first win. Maybe our only one, I don't know. We'll see how we do against Sly. Our first win of EBL Season 5, with only one Pokemon remaining. It is possible to win with only four Pokemon, turns out. Uh, just not as easily, which you can tell by the last three weeks of the season. Okay? So we'll see how we do against Sly, but we beat Timmy. Revenge for last season. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me go ahead and me message him GG's back. Uh, and I'll tell you guys who else you can check out this week. Timmy's calling me. I'm going to tell him just a second. Wrapping up. So, for next week. I mean, not next week. The current week. <laughs> Ah, I'm shaking. Um, you guys can check out Humberto, aka Lionheart Plays, versus our friend Pokey Pitch, the rematch of the Season 4 Championship, the Fort Sill Warriors versus the Col Colchester Celtics. Then you can head over to the Dormans channel and Lonely Hermits channel, check out the Texas Tyrantar versus the LA Inferno. Then you can head over to Metamaxis' channel, and Nate2's channel to check out the New York Matang versus the Walton Wingles. Then you can head over to JakeyXY's channel and Mike the Quick's channel to check out the Snowdonia and Frostmoth versus the Florida Rallets. Then you can head over to Smoosh Moosh's channel and Game Reviews channel to check out the Tijuana 
Gengar versus Gengar. No, dropouts. It's dropouts. This lane to the season. I'm messing up. Detroit Lux Ray. <laughs> then you can head over to. I always forget who's Carolina. I don't know. Uh, Nudie. He's literally the first person I thought. Carolina Garchomps versus the Montebello Morpecos on Mr. Toast's channel. And last but not least, you can head over to the Raging Lake and Sly Guy's channel. Check out the Manchester. Greater Manchester Greninjas versus the San Antonio Espers. Thank you guys so much for watching this match. Uh, it was very hype. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I, I tried to have fun the last three weeks. I honestly did week one, to be honest with you guys. But um, this season's been pretty shaky. But thank you to everybody who's kept out and supported. Um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, next week, we'll be taking on Sly Guy and his Antonio San Antonio Espers for the final week of the regular season of the Elite Battle League. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I can't thank you enough. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.